Part 1 looked at Nintendo consoles from 1983 to 2001, now let's kick off with the Wii. The Wii released in 2006 with unique controllers that used a built-in motion sensor and an additional nunchuck for dual wielding. Known as the Wiimote, it also included a built-in speaker. The Wii CPU had a clock speed of 729MHz, the RAM size almost quadrupled from the GameCube to 88MB, and the GPU's clock speed increased to 243MHz. The Wii U released in 2012 with a gamepad controller that looked like a tablet with a touchscreen display. The Wii U had a tri-core CPU with a clock speed of 1.24 GHz per core. There was a significant increase in the RAM capacity compared to the Wii, now up to 2 GB, and the GPU's clock speed doubled to 550 MHz. The Nintendo Switch was released in 2017 as a hybrid console that operated both as a handheld device and could be docked for a television connection. The Switch has a quad-core CPU with 1.02 GHz per core. The RAM capacity is doubled from a Wii U to 4GB and the clock speed is about 50% faster at 768MHz, although that's only when docked, and when it's used handheld, the clock speed is limited to only 307MHz. The Nintendo Switch 2 was released in 2025 with a similar look both physically and in terms of a user interface, although larger in size with a magnetic attachment for the Joy-Con controllers. The Switch 2 has an octa-core CPU which runs at 998MHz when docked and actually slightly faster at 1101MHz when handheld. The RAM capacity is three times larger than the Switch, and the GPU has a 1007 MHz clock speed when docked, but is roughly half as fast at 561 MHz when playing handheld. And now you're up to date with Nintendo consoles. Check out my PlayStation and Xbox shorts for more, and look out for Sega consoles coming soon.